to quiet your mind and to dive back into your silence. And we have talked about not getting identified with the noise. There's a lot of noise out there. And it may get worse. If you remember last year, those of you who've been with me, I shared it with you. I said things, the noise, other noise, outside noise can get worse. It can be a lot more noisy. And right now it's very noisy. Practice your meditation, practice silence. Stay center in your center. Bring your attention inwards and stay in your center. No matter what is happening, all these noise. I have people coming, my family, my friends, some of them. Oh, Zarathustra, don't go to Europe. You can't go there. What's going to happen to you? You're going to get stuck if you go to Europe and you're going to die. I go, dude. I may die at any moment. Who knows they're going to live for a long time? What makes you think you're going to live tomorrow? What gives you this ignorant idea that you, can, you are going to be around tomorrow? What makes you think that? Corona or anything else? Don't you see people die around you, young? Death can come at any moment to anyone at any time. And if I'm to live my life and worried about I may die, I don't want to live that, that life. I've had five near death experiences. I know what it's like when death comes and knocks on your door. Death is welcome to come and knock on my door at any moment because I'm not afraid of it. Because where would I go? What can happen to me? All of it is a part of myself. Corona disease is an aspect of my consciousness. The, the wars diseases, the problems in the world, they're all aspects of myself. Everything is an aspect of myself. I'm not separated from any of it. There is no separation. Cancer is a part of myself. Birth is a part of myself. Success is a part of myself. Failure is a part of myself. The enemy, the communist, the, the Nazis, the Illuminati, the, the bad, the evil corporations, they are an aspect of myself. They're not separated from me. I am one with them. And they are one with me. It's all part of the same one. Different expressions of the absolute. Different faces of God. Different acts of God. It's all the same one. It's like your left hand is really afraid of your right hand. Your right hand is going to invade your left hand. These are all same. Now, this is the time for us to really stay in our center, connecting to the center of ourselves and be the Buddha. And that's very important for us to get together at this time, us coming together and sit with each other and be reminded to come back into this place. This is not a time to be isolated and be frightened. This is a time that we come to satsang. We come together and we go back into our Silence. And as you divert your attention back inwards and you come back to this place, your mind becomes quiet. 
and bliss, the presence, her majesty, reappears. It shows herself to you, and you come back into the truth of who you are, and you remember that you are love and you are God. You remember that. And all fears and worries and anxieties disappear. They vanish. This is the moment for us to demonstrate this practically. And we don't want to lose this opportunity. This is a great opportunity for us. Now we can fall into the fear, like what has happened in the past, and be an individual afraid and, and insignificant. Or we can come to our, the truth of who we are, and we be majestic and great. And your presence, by staying in your own center, the vibration that you create will transform everything in your surrounding. Your choice is yours. And if you fail, it's okay. You come back next life and you get another chance. Yeah, people tell me, are you, how, what are you doing? Are you going to go to Europe? Yeah, I am coming to Europe unless there are no flights, unless they cancel my flight, unless you tell me I can't enter in Norway. But I'm not worried about getting corona disease in the airplane or at my workshops or anywhere because I know the time I was born was set and the time that I'm going to die is set. These are set. It's already written. There's nothing anybody can do about my, my time of departure. It's already written. It's all taken care of. So if it's going to be next week or the next 10 days, so be it. Let it be. Because I know I'm in good hands. I know you're in good hands. I know the truth. The truth of life is that all of this games and plays and ups and downs are all being done by one thing. The Supreme Soul, Supreme Spirit is playing this game, is acting as if there is another, is acting the duality, is pretending that there is something such as separation. This is all God itself. God is the only thing that exists. God is the only thing that has ever existed. There is nothing outside of God. Nothing. All these other stories you hear, it's hoax. It's imagination. You are God. You are a part of the entire oneness. Every decision you make is a part of the entire oneness. This whole idea you have free will to do this and to do that, it's, it's an imagination. You're imagining that you have these choices. This is God choosing through you. This is God choosing through everybody else. This is God's show. God is pretending to be me pretending to be you, pretending to be coronavirus, pretending to be Donald Trump. This is all God. You can't get fooled by it. You have to look deeper inside to see the truth 